If you create consumer electronics, audiovisual equipment, or some telecom devices, this news is huge. The IEC Global Safety Standard for these products has been updated, and now it has a number of new overvoltage protection requirements. If you don't comply, your products won't get certified and you'll be blocked from selling them. Fortunately, Little Fuse and Aero Electronics have carved out a path for you, one that leads straight through to compliance, thanks to a variety of proven Little Fuse solutions. In the past, there were two global standards that governed safety for all kinds of consumer electronics. But in December of 2020, the third edition of IEC 623681 officially replaced them. Now compliance to IEC 623681 is mandatory, not voluntary. And additional tests are required. IEC 623681 utilizes a hazard-based approach designed to protect against all types of hazards, including electrical and thermal hazards. Where your electronic device will be used will determine how much overvoltage protection it will need. Closest to the electrical grid is a Category 4, which requires the most robust protection. The farther away you go, the lesser the requirements will be. Let's take a look at the example of universal power supplies that is comprised of a power stage and may include other circuitry. For starters, you need to protect the power stage from overcurrent events. Here, we recommend using a cartridge fuse from Little Fuse. It features a high braking capacity and high surge withstand capability. You also need to protect the power supply from voltage transients that may result from main system fluctuations and lightning strikes, among other things. To do so, we suggest using a thermally protected metal oxide varistor, or TMOV, between line and neutral. This TMOV provides the best combination of low clamping and high surge withstand capability, while passing all of the tests and requirements within IEC 623681. Between line and ground, as well as neutral and ground, i.e. common mode, a slightly different protection approach is needed. Our recommendation? An MOV along with a gas discharge tube or GDT. In fact, that combination is the only permitted solution for common mode protection for non-reliable earthing applications such as a universal power supply. Your final solution will depend on your unique application and where it will be used. We did, however, create a training module video that goes into much greater detail about all of this. To access that video, go to arrow.com slash littlefuse-iec623681. This latest, greatest global safety standard isn't going away, so make sure it doesn't get in your way. Find out more now.